hi everyone welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how we can apply the form validation or validation on the submitted data from the html form so let's get start so first of all let's look what we are going to do in this video so we will make a form then we will submit this form we will check the validation like is it numeric or uh, is it the maximum number minimum number required and empty all these things then we will uh, show the validation message also so first of all uh, just look at the form this is our form i have the two fields i already made so that we can save the time and this is the submit uh, button okay and i create the two routers here one is the post so that and it will call the tutorial control controller with the show function so that uh, we will access the request here with this form all right and uh, the default URL is here and you can s uh, currently you are watching the greeting view so if you don't know how to make the controller and all these things then you can watch our previous tutorial so in this vi video we are going to specifically concentrate on the how we can put the form validation so now let's get started without wasting the time so uh, from with I am going to submit uh, submit the URL so let's say I am going to put the name John and the password 123 and hit now you can see that we got the values both values here so let's say if I'm going to put the empty uh, name then it's showing that empty is name but we have to put the validation so for that I'm going to the tutorial.php this is the uh, controller that we called through the submit button submit data submit post request so first of all I'm going to apply this so let's take a variable with the validation and you can take the whatever you want to name and uh, just check the validation with the request class request underscore so how we get the request first of all so we have to just use this uh, uh, namespace here and just pass it, uh, the request parameter as a in the show function so request dot validate and in this validate just use an array okay so first what is the name of our input type so you can see that they are the password and name so I'm going to check the name first of all so let's say I'm going to check the name with the mm, name should be uh, required okay so let's check that and here I'm going to print this request and if the validation is succeed then it will print this value otherwise it's not going to print so I can check print this one also here okay so now let's check here so I'm going to submit this data Oops, there is some issue I think so let me check what's going on here mm -hmm. validate right name is required all right so you can see that this is uh, uh, taking at, uh, taking at the back this URL so it is not going to submit why because the validation function so how we can check the validation message so what is our validation message so come back to the this page and just write a simple code here okay so this is the message that we are going to show the validation because validation is completed because you see it is coming back after the submitting if I just pass some data then it will accept but whenever I am going to pass the blank data it will throw back to the same page so how we can show the validation message here so for that we have to just write a small code so let's I'm going to check the with here in the div so let's check with the at the rate if dollar error any that means if there is any kind of error an error is the function all right and after that you can take a div here okay then uh, we have to end the if also just end it and if all right 
and here I'm going to take the UL all right and inside the UL uh, I'm going to take a for each loop so for the for each loop just uh, same as the at the rate for each because this is the blade template syntax you can see that so here is the dollar error and let's check the all errors as dollar error all right and if we got the error then we have to use the li and inside the li then you can use the double curly brackets here and here you can check that uh, you can just write at the uh, dollar error all right and after that we just have to end the for each loop for that just write the end for each all right so let's check here once again oops there is some error so there is no error messes okay so actually it's an error it's not an error that's my bet and you can put the errors over here also so just submit back and let's check that so now you can see that the name field is required why because we put the required here so if I'm put here uh, the password is also required then it will ask the password for also so let's say now you can see that we got here so let's say if I put this both fill something then it will submit the form all right so if I just put the any one of them then it will sh uh, show the error message that we that he want to that is uh, uh, that is the empty for that okay and now uh, let's say if you want to put the minimum or maximum anything uh, validation also so then you have to use the pipeline case so with for pipeline just use this or you can write the max is uh, let's say five in the name field so if i'm going to put the uh, dylan john dylan john okay and submit this then it will tell you that the name cannot be greater than five characters so if i put the only three characters like sam or equal to five then it will only show the password error okay so let's say with the minimum uh, you want to put the minimum also so let's say password minimum character is uh, three okay and the password should be numeric okay then you choose uh, okay then refresh it once and let's check here then you can see that first field is uh, name is required and both fields are required so just I put the anil here and this is this condition will be satisfied because we have to put the 5 so if I just write the 1 2 then it will show the password should be greater than 3 all right so if I put the 1 a b c greater than 3 then it will ask you that the password should be a number so if I put the 1 2 3 4 and name name like anil then it will going to submit okay so password must be at least 3 okay then I can use the 1 2 3 4 password field must be 3 okay minimum fields are 3 that's fine okay so let's check what's wrong with that so if i'm going to use the uh, one two three four five six the name then it will going to submit all right so here you can see that how we can check the uh form validation uh with that so and uh, what it will going to do if the validations are not correct then it will not going to proceed again and it will uh, the validation message validation function throw back it to the uh, last controller from which is it's coming so this is all the fundamentals behind the how we can use the form validations or request validation in the request data validation in the laravel so don't forget to subscribe our video subscribe our channel and if you have any question ask me in the comment box
don't forget to give a thumbs up also so thanks guys thanks for watching